Previously on Tunnel 9 Free to Play, we discussed witches, witches, and more witches. Today, let's get into some Hog Rider Army basics. Yeah. Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Joe, and welcome back for episode 27 of the Town Hall 9 free-to-play series. Today, we're going to be getting into a very basic Hog Rider three-star attack strategy, mainly for clan war or trophy pushing. It's very expensive. We're not going to be doing any queen walking or any skeleton spells, and if you're looking for some more advanced stuff like that, be sure to check out the four ways to use your hogs at Town Hall 9 video. We've got a lot of competitive stuff in that video. We're going to be hitting three different types of bases today, showing you different styles of how to use this attack. It does not get done the same exact way every single time, and let's Go ahead and get into some live action. All right, so let's go ahead and get things kicked off with this very basic clan war base. This base has a centralized clan castle. You got an archer queen inside the base within range, and the town hall is offset basically like an anti three star design. Now, the point of this base is you got all these heavy hit point collectors over here. You don't want to come in on this side of the base because your golems will sit on a wall and target the archer towers, but the queen will sit back here inside the compartment and pick off your golems. So, we're going to come in from the bottom side of the base. Now, if you understand or remember at Town Hall 8 you have to get rid of the Clan Castle troops and you have to try to get rid of the Barb King. Well things changed just a little bit at Town Hall 9 with the addition of the Expos and the Archer Queen. So the same rules apply that you learned at Town Hall 8 minus you have to get rid of that Archer Queen because the Queen alone will pick off all of your Hog Riders and eliminate them before they ever get to the defenses. So that's something that you have to take into consideration. She must be one of the first things that goes down. So looking at this base we want to find the most direct approach approach to the clan castle as well as the archer queen and possibly get rid of the expos if they're all in the same zone. So down here in the bottom side where the uh, the town hall's at, you'll notice that we have both of the expos and we have a clan castle and an archer queen. So the army that we're going to be using is a two golem, eight wizard army with the valkyries inside the clan castle to send the barb king and the archer queen inside the base, get rid of the CC troops as well as the archer queen and possibly get rid of those expos. And that way the hogs can come in on the back side of the base and clear the back end defenses and basically clear the rest of the base. So looking at this base, we need to make sure that we funnel in a little bit. You'll notice that there are all these buildings are on the outside of the base. These are purposely set here to make sure that your troops stay on the outside. They don't go inside. So you have to be patient and you have to have a little bit of timing before dropping all of your troops. So let's go ahead and start out with a little bit of an example of this. And we're going to start out instead of dropping a golem first, we're going to start out with a wizard right here and here. We need to get Get rid of these buildings first be before dropping our golems we want to try to preserve the life of our golems so we're going to stage one right here against this cannon and mortar location and we're going to stage one right here against that archer tower and cannon that way we can kind of secure our entry point let's go ahead and drop our king up here that way he draws the fire of that archer tower and we want to hold on to our wizards that way we do not have that way we have some back end cleanup at, at the end of the attack so let's go ahead and drop our wall breaker and we're going to allow these wizards to work and we do not want this queen to go around the outsides of the base we want her to go inside the base so let's go ahead and drop our valkyries and we're going to have to stage our jump spell here in the core and we're going to have to plan for that queen to deal with the enemy electro dragon so let's go ahead and freeze it poison spell and rage spell for our valks and they're going to jump the wall taking on the expo as well as the archer queen let's use that king's ability to get rid of that queen and we can go ahead and start bringing our hog riders in now now that all these defenses are kind of distracted let's go ahead and drop hogs there there and there to clear these archer towers and let's go ahead and drop some hogs up here on this archer tower they're going to all tie into this location of dense defenses it looks like we got hidden tesla's over here we can go ahead and drop our wizards on the back end for some cleanup start clearing that building there and let's go ahead and use that queen's ability since the hogs are starting to work their way down into the final defensive locations now that queen is going to end up getting targeted by that cannon but we got a pack of hogs working through this location here let's go ahead and drop a heal spell to heal them up since they're battling it out versus the king and they're going to take out that mortar deal with that final cannon and then they should turn around and start battling it out versus the skeletons as well as the barb king so they're going to take that king down and we can go ahead and drop some archers here to start helping with the cleanup and looks like we are going to have a successful attack with a minute and 12 seconds so the point of all that is to show you that you don't drop all of your troops at the same time you got to be patient you got to try to maximize the amount of value out of those golems make sure that you can get the 
the golems inside the base. Make sure that you can get the queen and the king funneled in to deal with that enemy queen and clan castle. But that's just this style of base. We have other styles that we have to take into consideration as well. And so our next base is going to basically be a little bit different with the clan castle on the top side of the base and the queen down on the bottom side of the base, which is kind of confusing for some of you that have never seen it before. There's your army. Let's get into our next attack. This next base is also a clan war style base. And if you go into the planning stage with the mindset that you have to go in with a kill squad and get rid of the clan castle troops as well as the archer queen, this base is going to throw you off dramatically because if you look at the base, we got a queen inside next to an expo and you have a clan castle on the opposite side of the base. So this is kind of like... Uh, what do I do now, you know? Well, here's the best part about Hog Riders is all you need is one, and you got a defense sitting right here. You could do a Clan Castle Lure. But here's the problem. With an Electro Dragon, you can't necessarily do a Clan Castle Lure because you will waste literally all of your wizards trying to get rid of it because it zaps multiple targets. So if you go inside the base with your kill squad on this side going into the Archer Queen and pull the Clan Castle troops about midway through the raid, that E-Drag will move towards your kill squad and you can get rid of it using your queen. So here's Here's how we're going to approach this base. We're going to go into the queen's location, take down the town hall, and if we do fail, we do you know, still get a two star. So it's just something to take into consideration. But we're after the three star. That's the point here. So we're going to start out with a little bit of clearance of buildings first. So let's go ahead and drop a wizard right here on these south side buildings, and we're going to drop a wizard right here. You're going to notice that there's three of the cannons up in this compartment, and you got a cannon over here. But you're also going to notice that there is a mortar on the outside of the base. So if we drop our golem planning for it to go sit on the wall that is not going to happen he's actually going to target that mortar instead so we're going to drop some wizards back here and let's do a wall breaker scout and you're going to notice that the range on that expo is going to kill our scout so now we need to speed up the attack just a little bit so we're going to drop our barb king and then we're going to allow these wizards to clear buildings and ensure that we get our wall breakers in and open up the base now so wait for that that golem to go sit on the wall let's drop our next golem and we should open up the compartment there it goes let's drop our queen and let's drop our valkyries now the king is on the enemy queen let's go ahead and pre-stage our jump spell right there and we're going to use that king's ability so let's go ahead and draw the clan castle troops out and have them go towards the enemy or towards our kill squad so we got golems we got an archer queen we got valkyries and we got an e-drag moving directly towards them so let's go ahead and drop our rage spell and let's go ahead and drop a free spell and a poison spell and let's go ahead and start flanking in our hogs to assist since the defenses are targeting our queen let's go ahead and drop hogs in on that expo and we got to get rid of that expo and then the hogs are going to start moving down towards the bomb tower so the queen's dealing with the enemy cc and the hogs are going to have to battle it out versus the barb king so let's go ahead and drop our heal spell ahead of our hogs that way they can deal with that bomb tower and they're going to work their way down into this location where we have multiple defenses and wizard towers and cannons and archer towers and they're going to basically start working their way down towards the bottom side of the base so let's go ahead and drop our heal spell in this location here to help out and let's drop our wizards back here to start doing some back end cleanup as well as our archers on these builders huts so it looks like the queen is still alive she's inside the base and the hogs have one two more defenses unfortunately but we have a minute left in the attack so we should be good i hope <laughs> let's see what happens here queen's on the bottom side she's going to work down towards those collectors and the hogs are going to take out that finer mortar and then they're going to backtrack and have to deal with that barb king they're going to take down his altar and then you're going to notice once that king starts targeting our hogs the hogs are going to start battling it out versus him and take him down queen's ability can be used to speed this attack up get her through that wall and we should be good for the three star so it's just an example guys it's just an example on how you could possibly do it i'm sure there's multiple ways to hit this base but that's one of the best things about clash of clans is there's different armies for all kinds of different bases you don't have to use witches you can use hogs and you can use balloons so that's one of the things that we're trying out and showing you here is that there's multiple ways to take down different types of bases that's the army that we're using we're going to go out and find a basic trophy pushing base all right, so let's go ahead and see if we can go find a base that is pretty common that you might actually recognize. Looks like we got a pretty solid base here with expos and a queen and a clan castle on the opposite side. We'll more than likely go into the queen side. So uh, some of your questions that you might be asking is if you can use level four hogs. If you go back to episode eight, we did kind of try that against maxed out bases and failed a little bit. You do have to have your level five hogs unlocked if you want to hit maxed out bases. Obviously, if you have level fours, you need to drop down and hit weaker bases. So let's go 
ahead and take this on in the same manner that we did before. We're going to start out with our two golems and we're going to drop some wizards back behind, but we're not going to drop all of them. So we need to drop a barb king over there actually because we just wasted a wizard that archer tower is going to target it. Let's go ahead and open up the base right here with our wall breakers and hopefully we can get inside the base. Looks like the wizards are working, the golems working, and let's go ahead and drop our archer queen right there as well as our valkyries to go in on that enemy queen. And let's go ahead and drop our jump spell right here. King's ability needs to be used already. Oh, goodness. All right, let's go ahead and speed our Valkyries up and use the rage spell. Looks like we got baby D, a couple of baby Ds. Oh, my goodness. Hot Lantern. There we go. Let's go ahead and freeze them, poison them, and our queen is going to go in and start targeting them. So let's go ahead and flank in our hog riders right there. Let's drop hogs right there, and let's drop hogs down here. And they're going to circle around the base. Queen's ability needs to be used to deal with the uh, baby dragons. And we're going to need to use our heal spell in this location since our hogs have taken some serious damage. All right, so the expo is targeting that golem on the back side of the base. This is why the golems are so incredibly important. And basically, that's going to tie up our golems for a little bit of time, or tie up that expo for a little bit of time, and give our hogs some time to get in there and deal with it while the queen also assists. So the golems play a role in blocking while the hogs deal with the defenses and the queen also assists on the back end. And we can drop our wizards back here for some back end cleanup, our archers right here. And let's go ahead and dump those wall breakers because we won't need them anymore. Down goes all the defenses. We got plenty of hogs for the back end cleanup. And you notice that we start with our cleanup troops on the bottom side of the base because the hogs are moving up towards the top side of the base. You don't really want your hogs having to backtrack around the back side of the base and you lose a lot of time like that so we did have a CC on this base, um, and I think that's going to pretty much cover it for today, guys. We're going to continue to use hogs. We might try out some queen walk hogs in the upcoming future, but if you got something out of the video today, smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and if you need any additional video support, click one of those links over there. We will see you in the next one, guys. Take care.